everyone to your new moon reading of in Taurus for May. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what is going on with you. If you guys have a Taurus in your chart, you might want to go ahead and watch that new moon in Taurus. I made just a regular uh, Taurus one as well. It is a little different uh, for them this time around. So let's get in here, see what is going on. Best messages coming out. Uh, Pluto did just go retrograde on the 2nd until October, so that's a big one right there. Um, that's also affecting everyone for transformations, so it's actually affecting this new moon. So also watch for that. That's about those transformations. Um, let's see, what was that? Uh, and it's in the Aquarius, so it's going to want to bring in that individuality, that uh, freedom. Okay, so... Um, it will make you feel like you want to transform, and it's going to start transforming things that you're working on. Um, and definitely, it has some of the same qualities as manifesting, which is asking yourself why I want this, what I want to do, letting go of things that no longer serve you, keeping things that do serve you. And, of course, that new moon says what in Taurus? It says go ahead and start planting those seeds, right? So we want to go ahead and start planting those seeds. Uh, this is a great time for romance, love, meeting new people, re-sparking old relationships um, that you want to re-spark and rekindle. Um, it's starting dating, chatting, exploring, getting a lot of DMs, right? Um, so, okay. So that is a good thing. Okay, let's see what's going on. Best message is coming out for this new moon, please. Lighting up the romance. Ooh. Also got what do we have coming out for these cards is Embrace the Flow of Life, Full Moon in Gemini, First Quarter Moon in Sagittarius, Believe in Your Good Luck, which is kind of crazy because that Full Moon coming up is going to be in Sagittarius. That's going to also spark up some good luck going on there as well. Um, and then we have First Quarter Moon in Leo, Be Humble. So this is a time to be humble. Embracing the flow of life. I mean, it's really talking about, you know, when we're talking about this new moon, we're talking about embracing that love, embracing that romance, um, getting, you know, um, that self-love as well. But it's also going to be talking about that abundance, right? Um, so we really want to look at this middle card. It's a very good one as well because this is, remember, uh, Taurus is Venus, so we're talking about that material, we're talking about that love, we're talking about that abundance of money, <laughs> so things that make us want to have deeper connections, okay, looking at those infinite possibilities when we're talking about this good luck, so let's go ahead and grab one of these, uh, let's go ahead and grab the Law and Attraction card to come underneath that. Embrace the flow of life, really getting it through there, really getting that through. And that Gemini is the lovers, so it's definitely talking about that love. Uh, what do we have coming out here? We have where I am, I'm feeling good, I am attracting good. Ooh. So when you think about a thought that's up liftment or abundance of well-being you are filled with a feeling of positive emotions you may trust the way you feel as the indicator to which side of this subject is really two subjects you are on whether it is the subject of money or lack of or health or love or relationship remember if you always are feeling that lack you're going to more than likely continue with that lack right or it's not going to last long um so really wanting to praise yourself for this love, really feeling that love and affection at this time. And it is a new moon, so that means we need to cleanse out the old and bring in the new. Let go of the past so that we can let in the new love. And don't think about what the past did, right? Let's not, 
not focus on this new moon of love of, you know, Harry over here did this and cheated on me because you don't want to attract the same. You don't want to attract another cheater, right? You want to make sure that you're attracting the good pieces, right? So over here we have a new love coming out with the manifestation cards. The energy of new love is around you. Sometimes if we have been hurt within relationships, we retreat, afraid of being hurt again. There it is. This card brings a clear message as is an indication of your readiness to embrace love and begin a new relationship. It is safe to reach out. And even if you're re-sparking right, a relationship, that means you would be making your old relationship into a new relationship with new meaning, new understandings. Right? If you and your, your partner have been on a roller coaster for the last four or five months, right, it's time to let go of that, forgive, and, you know, re-spark that if that's what you're doing, right? Um, so rekindling that flame. Okay. So with the love cards. So, you know, when we get new love, sometimes it just means rekindling what was lost bringing in, you know, full cycle again. Let's try this again. Right? So this one's make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So really wanting to make the effort towards this new love, putting everything out there, right? You're going to feel this, you know, if you meditate, if you really want something, you really want to let something go when it comes to the love, you know, you really want to have that self-love. And it doesn't matter, guys. It could even be this money, this job, this career. You know, if you already have a beautiful love, then let's look at the other things that Venus is bringing in, right? She's bringing up, you know, all of these beautiful abundance, connecting yourself with your money, your finances, uh, right? But make sure that your mind is still because <laughs> sometimes you can notice that, it, you know, the... You, the full moons, right? They can bring in heavy emotions. All of them do, right? The full moon, new moon. I think I said full moon. I meant to say new moon. It's because they're all looking at them all full. Um, this new moon bringing in heavy emotions. So make sure that you are, you know, making your mind still. Allowing your emotions to calm during this time. Right? Really connecting with your body, with your mind and your soul. The powerful three within yourself. So that you can really have this beautiful compromise between, you know, you and your higher self. That way you can open up the floodgates over here to get the things that you really are looking for. Uh, May season is a beautiful time to really start planting and sowing those seeds so that you can start getting your rewards, right, during that harvest moon, right, or just within the next, you know, four months itself, right, really pushing everything away and and then bringing in the new. Allow yourself to let go of what's not doing you good so that you know what is doing good. Okay? So you do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And like I said, even within your higher self for the things that you truly want. Now is the time. Venus is giving you this leg up to say, let's go for the beauty. Let's go for what is what it is you truly want and desire. That's what she does, right? That's what she likes to do. So getting an overall card over here. And this is just all on the embrace of, you know, the flow of life. Believe in the good. You know, now you have that good luck coming in. Right? Allowing that good luck to come in. Saying, I have good luck. Acknowledging that you have good luck. Right? Using that discipline within yourself. Right? I can accomplish what I set my mind to. If I want that good luck, I will have the good luck, but I have to put my mind towards that. Right? The overall abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical realm. So, you know, right now is a good time. Right? Don't just let your mind race off with all negativities. Let's embrace what it is we truly want, my friends. Right? Find that clarity within. Uh, the purple in this card is obviously, right, the third eye chakra. So it's saying clearly seeing and knowing 
Once you clearly see what it is you truly desire and that what you truly want and what you know you're capable of doing, which is an infamous, you can do these things. Allow the growth. Finding the purpose. I know what I am here to do. <laughs> this is actually going to come in real handy too <clears throat> when uh, Pallas goes retrograde. I think the 23rd or something. Uh, I'll look that up again, but uh, that's actually going to be good there too because that retrograde is also going to say, hey, you know what, this is where my purpose is. And so that's also going to do that as well. It's going to make you look back at things that you don't no longer want, right, um, as it's bringing, I think it's just before that full moon, so we'll see how that's going to go. Um, <clears throat> and accepting what it is you truly want I learning to accept the things I cannot change, right? Accepting that, and at the bottom we have beautiful growth as well as you're growing through this new moon. This moon moon wants you to grow your money, grow your your desires. We're just going to say desires, right? Not going to just leave it in the love, but there is a lot of love, a lot of self-love, love for others. There is no denying that, right? It's Venus. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got a lot of wind over here. My allergies have been going crazy for the last couple of weeks. And so windy. Okay. So let's see what's going on. So let's grab another law and attraction card over here. Right now it's going to be the greatest time to law and attract. So we're going to use a lot of money law and attraction over here. These cards that I'm bringing out are for look. You know, are for this one I love because it was for, you know, that feeling good is like for money, for anything you want, right? But these are actually money uh, cards. But let's just look at the money really fast. When that comes to that good love, we have my every story is attracting its vibrational match. So, yeah, you need to match that vibration. We talk about this in manifestation. Oh, and for everyone too, unless I did, I guess I already said, I'm not sure if I said it to everyone. I, I did put up a, a playlist just for manifestation. I'm not done with it yet, but I think I got two or three in there, but I'm working on it. Okay. But uh, that way you don't have to go through 152,000 videos trying to find just them. Um, I had someone tell me last month, okay, but that first one's like in August and like, I have to go. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to start with, I think, August, and then it's going to work its way down. Okay. But I think there's only like eight, so it's like better than going through one million, you know, readings. Um, every thought that you think is vibrating at a very personal frequency and by the powerful law of attraction, the essence of which is like unto itself is drawn. That thought is now attracting another thought that is its vibrational match. And now those combined thoughts are vibrating at a frequency that is higher than the thought that came before. And they will now, by the law of attraction, attract another and another and another until eventually the thoughts will be powerful enough to attract a real life situation or manifestation. Okay, We actually manifest a lot more than we think. It's just getting to the heart's desires, really matching that frequency is where the hard part really comes in. And for some people, it's really easy. Like for my son, it's easy. I don't understand, okay? Some people can do this very easily. Some of it, it takes us forever. So however, wherever you stand. For me, it seems very hard. But maybe it's also because we're always so, big adults are always looking for the bigger things. Young kids are looking for the little things, right? that turn into the bigger things. I will pray success wherever I see it. So wherever you see it, you know you're going to praise it. So make sure you're always giving that gratitude, you know, for the things you already have. And make sure you guys are already bring it into the now as you already have it. There's where one of the frequency busters is. There's the vibrational buster. It's hard to imagine when you're struggling to live paycheck to paycheck, day to day, that I have this much money in the bank. Right. Of course, you have to take action to get it there or that I have this or I have that. It's hard to imagine. Oh, no, I get it. You know, I don't sit up here and just say these things and not understand what I'm saying. It's me trying to make you understand this is what we're supposed to do. <laughs> but it is hard. 
And I actually did the same thing as uh, Jim Carrey. I wrote that check to myself, and I put it in my pocket. Still waiting. But look, for him, it took like five years. So, look, I, I'm going to sit there with that for five years until it, you know, tears into pieces like his, right? If you guys haven't watched that, you should uh, YouTube that. It's the most amazing thing. But uh, be humble, right? Always be humble. Humbleness is where everything is. And during this new moon, we definitely want to be humble. When you guys are doing your meditation practices and you're doing your manifestations and letting go, make sure that you are being very humble about the situation. And that's that not allowing your mind to take over. Not allowing, you know, other things in your life to take over what needs, you know, because you just need in seriousness, it's crazy because you really only need this much. It feels like when we're doing these readings and we're doing these things, like oh, we need so much. But in actuality, it's not any bigger than a silver dollar. It's like, you know, really, it's not a whole lot. It feels like, you know, like we need this. And in seriousness, we only need this little rock. It's, it's really not... If we understand how to actually do the process and really get it down, people do it all the time. It's just getting there. It's like you collaborating with the universe. That's that dancing with the universe. So with the Art of Manifestation cards over here, we have collaborating. Sometimes we are called to develop our self-sufficiency, self-sufficient, and this can be a valuable road to travel in the discovery of unique and individual gifts, but this is not the same as trying to do everything yourself at this time. This is not a time to go alone. It is a time to unite and work with others. Venus says it is time. Make sure that when you are being humble, that you understand that you're also being humble with others. This is where that romance comes in, that creativity, the new friends. Everything is going to come into a, di a divine alignment during the new moon, allowing things to shine for you bringing things for you, right? But you also, you know, have to let go of things that, yeah, thank you, leave the past behind. I'm actually going to take that. It was at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> and step up and take the lead, absolutely, right? Man, everything at the bottom of the deck is like, wow, okay. And practice gratitude is that next card. <clears throat> compromise. Wow, so we have collaborate and compromise. As you are in a situation where you need to make a compromise, or are you compromising too much? This card asks you to review your position and be sure to, f to find a solution that takes the needs of all parties into account, including yourself. There it is. I think we already said that. You know, it feels like it's already, it was already said, right? This is that time. Right? Clear your thoughts. You want to ask yourself what makes you feel connected to your body. Present the, the moment and clear out all your thoughts. That's all. Right? And then come up with a beautiful compromise that helps, you know, with everyone. At this time, if you guys want to do your meditation, this is the best time right now to actually go walking barefoot. This is an earth sign, so you really want to connect with the earth. Really ground yourself. It's a very grounded energy. So just getting a couple, yep, there it is. Time to plant your seeds. I said that at the very beginning of the video. It is time. It's time to look at what it is that you want to plant and sow. It's time to let the past go and say, you know what, this is what is going on with me. If you know that there, you have something that's working for you, sow seeds upon what's working. If it's not working, throw it away, do something else, right? Either that, or you can also relook at the situation, reevaluate the situation, and fix that situation if you believe that, you know what, the only reason it's not working is because it needs some tweaking to do. Sometimes that's the situation as well. Talking about that, I need to start working on my meditation channel. <laughs> Need to get some music going. Okay. I will be working on that too, and I'll be putting the link back into the um, in the description area for that uh, relaxing whispers meditation. It's all relaxing 
and meditative music to help you guys meditate, to help you relax, things like that. I actually built it for you guys um, more than myself. It's not a money-making thing. You don't really make money on it. It's just there for you guys, okay? I know some of you already have subscribed. Thank you very much, but I will put that back up there for you. Um, this is preparing and progress and foresight, expanding your opportunities to move forward. This is on that that where am I going, where am I going to um, put my energy at this time, what is it that's new, remember when new moon means new cycle, new things coming around, and this one says I really want you to look at what Venus has to offer for you, okay, what is Taurus, what is it doing for you, right, and anything that's working against you, go ahead and let it go, because you do, you will have some new new opportunities of growth potential you might even have that urge to want to create things right as you're on your way building those new projects doing those new things looking out for new love fixing love fixing friendships fixing the communications within the family there it is collaboration celebration collaboration creativity friendship right there's a lot of celebration. There's a lot of things going on at this time that you can shout at the heavens for. Allowing yourself to have what? Powerful three within yourself, my body, soul. As we're sitting there looking at the three of cups, knowing that we're bringing everything together at this time. Okay, so you might even feel like you're in a little bit of a control area at this time as well, as you are feeling very grounded within the situation. So your practicality will probably be shining through meaning you're probably going to feel a little more grounded at this time for the next couple of weeks as you're going to feel probably even the next couple of months. Um, just to say, you know, hey, sometimes that does happen. But you definitely are going to feel like you're a little more disciplined. You're going to feel like you are a little more practical. I don't feel like right now, I don't feel like everybody's going to feel like their head is so far in the air that I'm looking at dreams that, you know, could it, would it be you know, kind of situation. It's more like this is what it is and this is grounded, right? This is where the potential is. This is what could be happening and this is what should happen and can happen, right? This isn't the um, rainbow. I'm going out there and going to manifest something so huge. It's going to take me, you know, 10 years to get it. No, I want to be grounded enough to know that this can come in within the next four months. This can come in within the next two weeks. You see what I'm saying? it's that kind of potential, right? Because it is time to create money. It is time to create love. It is time to create the abundance and prosperities that you know are reachable and that are going to suit you at this time, right? And knowing you can enjoy the benefits, right? Because that's what, that's what Taurus wants you to do. It wants you to enjoy the benefits now, of the now, changing your life for the now, keeping you happy and keeping you full of love, okay? Wow, what a beautiful reading, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.